Hi guys, it's Granny Tana speaking. Welcome to this FS22 Let's Map video. In this video we'll keep on building on my upcoming American map Marigold Farm. And the last time we defined some farmlands, as we can see when I activate this. Yeah, here we can already see it. So we did those and I added some more in this area here, but I didn't find the time to finish it. But we can keep on going without finishing this. I will have to do this later. So, and what I thought today we could define the field dimensions. That is very interesting too. And it's a different kind of task. It's not painting, but this is more def defining. And let's see, we have to find the area where the fields are. It should be in gameplay, I guess, yes. And what we already did is we marked the uh, the center of each field so that I know I know okay now we will do field one and this is field one so I recognize what I had as a farmland one but now there are the field dimensions and I'm lucky that this is a simple field um, Maybe you can see, but maybe this is too small for you. We have um, a group of transform groups and there is written corner. Corner 0, 1, underscore 1, corner 0, 1, underscore 2, and so and so forth. And for um, a simple field like that, we only need one of these three point corner definitions. I take it here. Here we have one corner and then I'll have a look. Where is the other one? Okay, that is simple. I can just put it there. And then the next one is here. So this should go there. And now we can imagine that this whole rectangle is defined by those three points. And for for this simple field, it's simple. But <laughs> it uh, won't be always as simple. So already those fields are much harder to define. And to see what have we defined already? And therefore, there is a script that was made by giants. I'm just saving. And I have this active, okay, in the scripts. And it is in, I guess, map. Um, toggle render field areas. And now we have to wait and be very patient. And now, now we have it in color. This is a very simple color, but this is okay. So I can rearrange it a little tiny bit because it's not matching properly. So a little bit more in this direction and here a little bit longer, like so. and. There a little bit longer too. So, and this was the simple part. And we can be lucky because we have quite some of those rectangular fields and several that are not so rectangular. The next one will be more difficult. We first, uh, so first we look with a field map indicator. Okay, that's this one. And then we have to think about um, how we could 
arrange this and sometimes it's really not easy when the field is round it's it's very very difficult but with this I think it will be rather easy so we have one rectangular here and there maybe we could use it as a parallelogram feature I don't know the English word for parallelogram but you will see how it looks the shape and then we can overlap them so that makes it easy they can be overlapped so the first corner comes here okay and now we can already see the color and this color is helping us to um, to define it properly and this shape is already a parallelogram maybe I should look it up Oh no, you can just see it and maybe for next time I look it up. So, okay, this is good. And so as it goes up here, I will, okay, a little bit of pulling is okay, but as we have a slope nearly everywhere, I rather put the uh, the transform group points down as if I would place down a tree or an object. Ah, and if you are a um, mapper yourself or you think about maybe starting to map, I use the control B and then T to place something at a certain place where I click afterwards and on the surface of the map. So now we need another one and I just make a copy from this and be very patient. Okay and usually I would have to write different numbers to make it in a nice order but I only write number two here and this stays the same so okay and now I think the second one can't use uh, uh, you see you see what we get okay now I try with the third point if I go up there what happens okay so maybe I think I need to change the second one no no smaller as you can see it is still a simple form it only needs uh, three corner definitions so I copy this one again and then we make a rectangular field here for the overlap mode okay the second one goes here and then the third one comes here control B T click that's what I'm always doing and then for a little modification the pulling is okay but bigger placements I like to do with this placement function and here as you can see this is not precise enough so I think now it's okay yeah we have the second field 
And now I think about maybe I just copy all this stuff. No, no, for the third field. I start with this simple um, rectangular one. So we close this up and we do the third one. This is quite difficult. And don't worry, we won't make only those field definitions in this video. Maybe I do this one and then another one, maybe this and maybe this one to to get an impression what happens with those fields that are defined um, when we go in-game. Because, yeah, I would love to go in-game first time in this video. But for this we have to uh, prepare some more stuff. So, so how big is the rectangular part? It's up to here, I guess. So, Like so. And uh, this part is a little bit more difficult. So we need another one. And now imagine how this is done when you have a field that is full of very complicated shapes. And yeah, in reality, this is usually done by scripts. The modder, is it copying or not? I try again. Uh, the modder Modelleicher met a script about this. This modder Modelleicher is the one that is working on Mice Plus as well. So he is a really good programmer in um, in Lua, in the scripting language for the um, for the FS. So, how do I do this best? Yeah, and he made a script um, to, uh, to make the fields, field dimensions work more or less automatically. So, you only have to define some points here, there, 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 and so. And then you run the script and it does all this shaping by itself. And that helps a lot. I think without this, it wouldn't be possible to, to make such complicated shapes for fields. But as he is really into complicated field shapes and realism in gaming and so um, yeah he he did this so what to do now but I think for my simple shapes this is not needed even when I think now, oh, what have I done? Maybe I should have made the shape more simple. I could, I could. Then maybe later I just cut off this piece. And here, Maybe I go like this and then further down. 
Okay, now we have this covered. And then we try and make a shape for this area. So this is even more complicated than the, the second one. And still a very easy shape. Yeah, the problem with this script is I don't know whether um, there is already a solution for this problem because I'm not so much uh, into this scripting of the field dimensions. And if you have very complicated fields, this these definitions get a little bit out of hand somehow and they um they don't work for the contracts so when you do contracts on a field with very complicated fields or even some round corners can make problems then very often uh, the contract won't be, be fulfilled because of the complexity of the the shapes that are defined. And maybe you heard about uh, problems of this uh, this kind of problems. And they are because of the complexity of those field definitions. Okay, do I already have a copy? I think yes. Hmm. And the next one. And don't worry, uh, this will be the most complicated one we do today. Like so. And maybe like so, or rather, what happens if I do it like that? No, this is not such a good idea. So this here I will do later, but first I have to find a solution for this. Okay. And then maybe the second one should go here. And then maybe here. So this part of the work is not so much um, a knowledge thing, but you have to think in graphical forms somehow of this type of parallelogram and how to fill this with your shapes. And yeah, sometimes you have to play around with it. Or if you are really good in your um, shape imagination, I think it could work uh, just by imagine, Im using your imagination and then putting in and then you, you've you got it. But th that is not my main area of expertise, <laughs> to say the least. Maybe I take the second one. and then make it work the other way around. I think with one more we, we will be done. So now I try here. Ay, 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 ay. And then the third one. Oh. And 
and this one. <laughs> Maybe we need another one. I thought I could shape it that it is a parallelogram in this shape, but may maybe I can still do it. If I do it like that and then make it longer, no, I'm just trying, and then the third corner. It gets better, but not, <laughs> not, not perfect enough. So I think it's more simple to just add another one. So And this one, I start here, maybe. It's a little bit like, like a riddle or a puzzle, a geometrical puzzle. And I'm better at and normal puzzles, so the jigsaw puzzles, yes, that's what I mean. But I'm not very good at those two. I like to do them, but yeah, it's... My eyes are not so good for them. But I do them quite regularly to to train my eyes for get the better recognition of patterns and so. I think I need this. I need this for my modding as well. So here we are. Oof. Now we take a simple one again. Uh, which is field, well, first I close this up, field 4 is this. Then I take field 5 as next one <laughs> because of the simpleness. To relax a little bit from this puzzle riddle thingy. Okay. And then the last corner, and that's it. Wonderful. And as you can see, this and this haven't been defined with um, with a fruit type, so there's nothing growing on it, and it doesn't have a I'm a field texture. This is just dirt paint. But through this field definition they can be used from the MPCs and then the no like here the here is a field and you can grow there whatever you want information um, is done by with this field definition. And so if everything is good, then we will get crops on those fields. And no crop on this field. So what happened here? Let's see whether this is the slope. Hmm. No, not so much. So something is not 
perfect. But I think this definition is better than my painting. Oh, and maybe this could be a little bit further down. No, this would extend the problem. Okay. So in the end, I will have to repaint some of those field borders that this looks more precise. So now another one, maybe maybe even two more one. Two more ones. Okay. Um I try here and then the second one. Maybe here. Oh, this looks very strange. <laughs> and the third one here. This looks better, yes. So this is the idea I had for this, but the, uh, the shape is not fitting. So maybe I go further up. Or maybe even so. Yeah. And then this further down. And the other one <laughs> further up again. Okay, and maybe even a little bit overlapping. And then here, and maybe, maybe, if we are lucky, no, it won't work quite yet. So I thought this would be easier to make this, this shape. Yeah, I think that's okay for, for the moment. And yeah, then we would need just another one of those, but I think that's not needed. I could make this bigger. So I go further down. And then, I hope, yes, that assumption was correct. So now another square. Okay. So this should be simple. Okay. And the third one, maybe here, and then I can go up, I think. That's it, more or less. Yes, here we have a little overlap, which is wonderful. That's it. And I have to do this for all fields. So it will take some time, but this is okay. We have, let's count the number of the fields. So, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, Oh no, I don't need to count them. 24, uh, yes, 
24 is up to here. Okay, so then 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41. I don't know whether maybe I missed one or counted one double, but it's about around 41 fields. I think this is okay for a map that has quite a lot of meadows and mountains and forests and such. 41 fields is, yeah, not so much and not too little. It doesn't have really big fields, only little big. I hope they are big enough for you. If not, you can always combine them. And I won't make 3D objects as um, roads between the fields. So therefore you can just take your plow and make a field out of it, even if there is a um, dirt road. So the dirt roads, dirt roads stay dirt roads. Okay. Have we done this? I think we have done. Yes, we have done this together, this small farm because uh, there will be several farms. But what I thought is maybe here I make the small one as um, um, as a production building or a selling point because we have nothing of this kind in this whole area. And here is a little farm and here is a farm. So maybe this is enough farms and here this will, maybe it will be a farm-like production point or such. Because I think we will need more production points and selling stations. We have one we have here and in the village. And here is a selling point. But here, may, I think we will need something here. I would have loved to make this a nice um, recreational area, and I will. But I think there should be a useful building as well. And then we will have useful buildings up here. So maybe here the sawmill and yeah, we will see. And now we will make this map a little bit functional. First saving. Yeah, and I decided to to keep the animal and uh, the dealership here and to have this building, but I will modify it. Maybe with with red or blue walls. I'm not yet sure. So this orange will uh, will go away, and I make it in this color. And those wooden panels, I'd like to make either either red or either blue, this bluish, um, slightly violet way how American houses are rather often. And then maybe if I do it in red, I would make those shapes in white, because red and white looks very good together. Yeah, and I would keep the name Clever Motors because I think this is good. And here I will rearrange it a little bit to make it a little bit more inviting when you look through the windows. And this will be the workshop. Oh. So I will make some 
workshop stuff inside, some equipment, and then we have the workshop here. But now, let's see. It's maybe it's not so good when it's in the center of this because we need a lot of place for the spawning of the mm, of the vehicles vehicles so no this is <laughs> not good but maybe like this So, and do we need this mailbox? Maybe. Come on. Yes, I just put it here, maybe. And then we have this. So, I will... Um, arrange it nicely later and we'll make some decorative stuff and so and maybe a little parking lot here for some cars uh, that are only decorative cars and so you can come here and then so now we need the triggers and I hope I find them should be in the yeah in the gameplay area it's a vehicle shop trigger yes this should be here okay and then we have the store spawn place start and that's for what we need this place here will be the the workshop so we could start maybe let's see maybe here and then where is the other one? Oh, okay it's the other way around so then I just hmm but it would be nice if they would the vehicles would look in this direction So I try whether I can put this just over there and then they spawn from here to there. And the other one will be here. And later we will check this out whether the the dimensions are okay if you uh, buy huge equipment and so that it's okay with the spawning area and you have enough place for arranging all your stuff and so and maybe here i make um, a gas station area because then we don't need another gas station area in the town. And then we need to define the animal dealer. This is here. Okay. And maybe I push this further back. Like so. Then you can go there with whatever vehicle vehicle you like okay this is the animal loading area and we will check this out also whether it works fine and then the marker icon for the animals maybe here yeah uh, the this the animal dealer and the dealership are the only functional objects that are um, placed directly into the map. Everything else is loaded um, 
when starting so i don't place it there the cell points and productions and so i could place the buildings as a placeholder uh, but the functionality is made by um, by XML files, so this slope is much too too strong. So maybe five meters, and then no, I think it should become bigger, maybe fifteen. Yeah, yeah, it is getting better. So. much better. And here this field <laughs> is terrible. I need uh, even bigger. And then I'll do it like so. Yeah. Yes, so I think this kind of thing I have to do uh, a lot of, t very often. So always when I see that an area is much too bumpy, then I have to work on it. Yeah, hundreds of times. Oh, and then what I'm thinking is this the toys? Oh no, this is the border of the map. Okay, so we can just ignore it. And we we can remove this display of this field areas. But first, saving and maybe finding the field area again. And then map toggle. And waiting. OK. So if everything goes perfectly nice, when I make this a zip file and upload it, uh, no, not upload, copy it to my mod folder and start the game, then maybe we could start into the map and buy a tractor and drive around a little bit. But um, as you can imagine, this will look very unfinished, very, very unfinished. But I'd like to get a first impression from in-game. So, and that's still far away from the first. So I already made a zip file as a backup. But I haven't been in uh, in game yet. So now I pack it as a zip file, and then I search my mod folder. So it's taking quite a while because the whole Elm Creek map is underneath. It's 366 megabytes right now, but I'm sure it will become um, a little bit smaller. Well, we don't know, we don't know. Depending on what I build, how many textures I will add and so. So we will see.
Oh, and then there was a question I wanted to ask you. Maybe before we... Oh, maybe while we wait for the game to start. So I make this somewhat smaller to reach my... Um, my icon for FS22. Yeah, what I was asking myself, or what I want to ask you, that is even better. <laughs> um, now I search it. That will be it. So this stuff looks terrible. We won't have um, PDA map, n nothing. Um, all this comes later. Yeah, so we w could have this toys as a collectible, and I would like it. But we maybe also could have gold nuggets. So I think I could build gold nuggets and maybe take the golden texture from FS17 or make my own one. So I think I'm... I'm capable of making nice gold nuggets and I could um, hide gold nuggets as collectibles. So what would you prefer, the toys or the gold nuggets? Yeah, now we have 75% And I really hope uh, it doesn't crash on us, <laughs> but yeah, I'm I'm hopeful. Usually, it should work. So, but it takes some time. Yeah, and I asked my. I think most important question for today and yeah maybe th and the other question is the um, dealership in red or in blue what would you prefer yeah 85 percent do I need to make a break for the waiting time. Yes, maybe. So we'll see each other again when it's at 100. So it did fail after all. Um, it didn't like my predefinition of fields that are not correctly defined. So I, as you remember, I made 24 field parts and didn't define the areas and it didn't like that and this was the first time I did it like that and yeah I find it practical but I didn't uh, remove those predefined fields I only put it into a different folder and then it was no problem so now now Okay. Uh, where are we? Oh, oh, yes, yes, I understand, I understand. <laughs> I haven't removed the placeables file yet. And I haven't removed the uh, vehicles file, so um, I should have emptied it <laughs> and therefore it loads the farmhouse, it loads all the stuff and it's down, down there is my map and here is the farmhouse and the other stuff um, but as you can see there are fields that are defined so uh, there are fields with growing crops and so 
And there in the back you see the marigold farm. And then there are cars <laughs> driving around. Oh my, my dear. Yeah, flying around, flying cars. So maybe I just remove all the stuff that is preloaded. Um, because this is of no use, I'd say. And then I'll start again. So now, wish me good luck. That is much better. Okay, that is where I wanted to be. I put the career start point here in front of our farmer's market. And, um, yeah, the, the flying cars, they are still normal. I will remove them later. And now let's go and have a look onto the river. Yeah, yeah, it looks blue. And here we have the mountains. Do we have the big mountains too? Here we have big mountains. Or maybe we are so far down. Oh! Here I saw it and now it disappears. Maybe it's a little bit too far away or I have to check on this. Yeah. So this isn't how it should be. Oh! And here we have an invisible collision. Ay 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 ay, you see a lot of work. <laughs> those, uh, those flying cars are really funny. I think this is one of the next things I have to do. <laughs> Uh, there's such a lot to do. But this street here, yeah, it's still a little bit empty. But, yeah, maybe it will become nice. So it looks a little bit like if you are in a dream and everything is very strange. Especially with the cars. But here we have the the dealership. Okay, we can buy a tractor. Let's take a cheap one that we can afford. Maybe the Messi Ferguson is cheap enough. Yeah, the John Deere is too expensive. So we just take this one. This small, nice little tractor. Here it is. Okay, that works. And Oh, it looks in the other direction that I thought. So then I could turn around those spawn uh, places. Now we go up to the farm. <laughs> and yeah for me is seeing it in game gives me a much stronger impression how much work there's still to be done in every corner But in my mind, I knew it. I knew exactly that this is not at all, not in a single bit uh, done and perfect and looking as it should be. Here we, we will have the lake. Oi, 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 look at this. <laughs> Mm 
But here it starts getting better, and there... Oh, this is a small field, and it's... The NPC decided to make it harvested. Okay, yes, yes, why not? And here we have our fields. But I thought... Oh, yeah, they are <laughs> defined by the NPC as well, because I didn't tell the um, the map that this is our field. So the NPC has decided to plant potatoes. This is okay. So this field definition thingy worked as it should. Because we own, don't own anything till now. But this is easy to fix. I just haven't done it. And up here it's getting a little bit better. So with the meadow and some flowers. <laughs> Still, they, I didn't knew that there are such a lot of cars in Elm Creek. But they can be removed in yeah, in minutes. Yeah, this is the farm. Does it has have the right size? I think. Yeah, and here is the farmhouse. Let's go there and have a look down to our farm. Yeah. So I think next time I will have removed all those cars. And then, yeah, I will see on what we work in the next video. But somehow, uh, yeah, I'm quite happy with uh, how it how it is now. Considering the map is not finished at all. <laughs> yeah, that was to be expected that it looks like that. And... Yeah, so the most important thing is uh, we could buy a tractor and we could go to our farm. And yeah, that is accomplished. Okay, so I wish you a wonderful day. Thank you for watching and all the best. Till next time. Tschüss.